And Quick I, question. What's the best gift that you've ever given a woman? The best gift I've ever given a woman? The best gift. The best gift. A notebook, a MacBook. You bought a you bought a girl a MacBook? Yeah, yeah. How much was it? Don't, don't worry about all that, man. It's, you 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 were a price tag, man. It was it was I was feeling good, you know what I'm saying? You bought her a MacBook. This is this is news to me. I mean you asked, you asked, and I revealed. This, this is asked. Mr. I don't this is Mr. Are we going Dutch? <laughs> Mr. We going Dutch? That this, is this is Mr. Bocci. <laughs> That is a big misconception, okay? Um, oh, so you will pay. I don't mind paying, man, but I want to make sure that the girl, I'm invested in the girl. Okay, like, okay. okay, try to make sure she's worth the ticket of admission. Basically, 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 I just don't believe in going on expensive first dates. Why don't, you know, I don't believe in that. All right, so what constitutes as expensive to you? I'm not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend more than $20 on a first date. Ideally, a first date would be something free. Okay. Okay. You know, that, that's how I feel because nothing is guaranteed and. What, what guaranteed? What do you like mean? Basically guaranteed? like, you know, she may never want to see you again after that. So it's like, why am I investing in something or why am I buying tickets to something? And there's no guarantee she'll show up. There's no guarantee I'll see her again. And that's her right. You know, but I feel like the first date should really be a meet and greet to see how you guys vibe. And if you vibe, then, you know, take her out and do something with a little more expensive. Now, so you don't mind. All right, so you don't mind wasting time on the first date, but you're not wasting your money. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. You don't mind wasting time. Yeah. All right, back to you. So, tell us a little bit about your your escapade this past weekend. <laughs> oh, was that, was that time oh, a waste oh of we're time getting it today. Money? Oh, my gosh, man. So, I went to this art show. Art, art slash music show. You had her doing yoga in a dress. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> so, we both failed to read the fine print of the event. And it said that, like, for the first half of the night was going to be yoga. And we get there, people are walking in with like pants, yoga pants, uh, like jeans, real, real relaxed attire. And we're just like, dang, like, I got on dress pants and a, a nice shirt. A nice Did you go shirt. back and read everything like after the fact and see where it said yoga? Yeah, like when we're sitting there and they're pulling out the yoga mats, I'm like, let me look at my phone. It says yoga. I'm just like, oh, damn. And then. uh no, both overlooked that. We both overlooked it, and I was gonna just say, forget it. Like I'm not about to do yoga in a dress in the in these tight dress pants okay. and this nice shirt. And the, but she was like, "Let's we're already here. Let's do it." I'm like, "All right, cool, whatever, cool. All right, let's do it." How and, much? Did uh, you it's about twenty a ticket, so about forty. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, so the night's going smooth, man. Night's going smooth. We're vibing somewhat. You know, it's cool. You know, laughs. Uh, as an African drum performance, amazing show. Um, I had me a nice organic, you know, sparkling, you know, berry, uh, blueberry juice or water, I should say. That was nice. Um, all right, so the night is winding down. It's like maybe 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to move around a little bit. Let's go to like a bar or two or three maybe. Let's just, let's just go out, walk around. You know, we're downtown. So um, she's like, all right, cool. All right, so we... Leave out the establishment. All right, so we're going down the street. Bust a right, going to this bar named uh, Next Door, Honolulu. It's like a, a comedy slash bar, like comedy bar. Um, we go down this one street. It's like full of, you know, full of homeless people. You know, it's probably maybe on both sides combined, maybe 10 people homeless, right? She just freaks out. She's like, oh, my God, what's good? Like, What's going on? Like, like all these people, I'm like, bro, relax. Like, they're not worried about you. You're good. I've been out here plenty of times. You're fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. She's like tripping. Like, why are you playing? I'm gonna leave you. Uh, she like walks by the super edge of the, of the sidewalk, and I'm like, bro, what, what, what are we doing? Like, 
I'm not about to walk on the inside. That's not how it works. I walk on the, I walk by the curb. You walk on the inside. She's like, she just keeps going. She keeps going. She's not listening. I so I stop and I'm like, yo, you 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 wilding, right? You got you like you gotta relax. And then she's like, come on, come on, you playing? I'm like, no, I'm not playing. You about to go home. And then she's like, what? I'm like, yo, come here, like meet me halfway. So she comes back. And I'm like, yo, we got to be on one accord out here. Like, we out here in the middle of the street. You walking ahead of me. You can't be doing all that. And then she walks off again. She's like, you playing? We, I'm like, no, nah, we're going home. What does she mean you're playing? Playing? I don't know. what. I don't know what the hell she was talking about. She was like, oh, no, you're, you're, stop playing. Stop. I'm like, I, I, I guess she thought I was playing when I said it's like, I'm about to like, it's time to go. Like, if you go, like, if you're gonna keep walking and doing all this other extra stuff, this will be time to go. I guess she thought I was playing. Like, you don't think you're being toxic? Me? Your masculinity? No. Walking on the walking near the street. The thing was, it wasn't even so and all this other stuff. I mean, I think that's sugar sugar sugary is let's think not about dead. this. Let's think about this now. But to what extent do women have to accept these gestures? Let's think about this now. Uh -huh. It's homeless people on the left side of the street. There's homeless people on the right side of the street. And you want to walk right on the edge of the curb. Of the, curb. the homeless people. Yeah, so like, it's a sidewalk. Homeless people. You want to walk right on the edge of the sidewalk, right, right before you get in the street. You want to walk right there. There is no difference in you walking right there and you walking right here. Okay. But you but you weren't insisting on being near the curb. Would, no, I was I was telling her Yo, move over. Like I'm I'm walking right here. Okay. Like Why this is not walk on the curb. Because you felt like you were trying to shield her from something. Bro, that's just how I was taught, you know. Like okay. the guy walks near the curb, the woman walks inside inside the sidewalk, you know. Okay, now when she when she was protesting that she felt uncomfortable, do you think maybe you should have turned around and taken a different route, or you're just like, you know what, I, I I'm familiar with this area. Let's just keep going. The bar is up this way. We'll be the there. Thing is, is, I got this. Okay, so to answer your question, I thought about that. Two things popped in my head. We're four minutes away. Like, literally, if we just continue to walk down this street, it's one more right turn, and we're right there. It's a four-minute walk. And then we're downtown, bro. There's nothing but homeless people out there. So every street we go on, it's going to be homeless people. There's homeless people on the street you parked at. Mm. Okay. So it's like, no. When she started walking. So when she started walking ahead of you, was she just walking fast? Like she was walking fast, or she was walking fast and like tiptoeing on the sidewalk. So she was like goofing around, basically. No, she wasn't goofing. She was serious. Okay. But I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. the whole thing just didn't make any sense to me. It didn't make any sense. So why do you think she started freaking out? I I don't know. I I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So you took her home? Took her home. Is it gonna be a third date? No. <laughs> no, you and it's and it's for the simple fact of you know, when I'm out and about with somebody, we have to be on one accord. We gotta be on one accord. Like you can't be out here just doing your own thing. And then the fact that you would just keep walking and I like and I said, like, yo, we gotta like we gotta be on one accord, we gotta stop. You just keep walking, like I can't be out with somebody like that. You know? Did you feel disrespected? I'm trying to think is disrespect the right word. It was more so like I didn't I felt like in that moment, like I was like, damn, like she don't trust me. Like, like she don't trust that I'm gonna get us to the destination safely. Like so she you felt as if maybe she stripped your masculinity from you. I'm not gonna say stripped stripped my masculinity because I feel like she the type that would have reacted like that with anybody. Okay. You know, but it was just like, it wasn't necessarily strip my masculinity, but it was like, yo, you don't trust that I've been, that I've been down here enough times to know what's safe and what's not safe. Or trusting you that you wouldn't put her in a, a dangerous situation. Right, right. Okay. Like, 
when have you known me to be in a dangerous situation? This is me. Right. This is me. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Oh man. Um I don't I don't know what to say, man. I've never had that issue before, you know, but I feel like sometimes you know everyone has their different limits and of what they will and will not stand for. And I guess you guys just sort of had a headbutt. Okay, uh yeah. look. Rapid fire question. Women, listen. Smack. Women, listen to you. If you're out with a guy, right? And the guy, and if the guy has never shown you that you weren't, if a guy has never shown you before that your life has has been in danger with him, <laughs> then just listen to him. Just listen. Just okay. Listen. Just listen. So women should just listen to you. They should listen to men, huh? Just listen. Hey, man, just, you know, <laughs> I'm not. Just just go along with the flow, huh? Ladies. Just listen, man. Just, hey, just listen. I, I mean, if the guy has given you a reason to, you know, not trust him, then obviously don't listen. But okay, just listen. Man. I guess this brings us to a point of, of Ken, Kevin Samuels that I guess high value men or men want they want compliance, compliance, or just easy going. You know, compliance, not being difficult. Compliance. The thing is, I'm not. I don't want like a. I don't want a stuffed animal. You know, I mean, I I've been, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, that makes sense. It's like, bro, you don't feel safe to walk with me four minutes down the street after I didn't told you these, these homeless people, these people don't want, these people don't, ain't gonna bother you. You think you're the first woman. He was just acting out, basically. Like, you think you're the first woman to come down here with a dress on a night. Is that what you think? Maybe she's from a shelter background, man. She's never seen homeless people before. I don't know. I know people was not the people was not even looking at us. They were asleep. Most of them asleep. Mm. This is where they sleep at. Mm. I guess, man. You bothering them, really? About to make all this goddamn noise and shit. 